One of the ways that Pastor Jim said that we can do stupid is to stop feeding our own marriage. One of the greatest reasons someone may engage in an affair is ego. I mean, who doesn't love the attention or like receiving compliments or the fact that someone finds us attractive? Of course that's enticing. But why do we have to find that outside of our own marriage? Why not start focusing on all that is in your marriage? Be intentional with one another. Talk about your needs, what makes you feel most loved and respected, what your sexual desires are, what you need to have time to spend with God. Talk about all of it, then do your best to support each other in it. Love is more than just a feeling. It takes care, discipline, investment, and compromise. In one of the letters Paul wrote to the Church of Corinth, he discusses marriage saying, love flows through the marriage that lives up to mutual responsibility. If you both do your own part, if you both love selflessly, doing what makes your spouse feel the most loved and respected, fulfilling sexual needs and allowing them to have time to spend with God, then love will flow through your own marriage. Give your spouse attention. Give your spouse compliments. Tell your spouse how much you find them attractive. Flirt with your spouse today.